The answer can be found in the words of the Israeli and Jewish national anthem, the Hatikva, which means the hope. In expressing the hope that after 2,000 years, we are able to return to the land of our forefathers, the land of Israel and the historic city, Jerusalem. British Jewry needs Israel because the numbers are dwindling in the diaspora countries and it is important that the State of Israel exists for Jewish continuity. I came from Belgium as a little girl arriving here in England in 1940. My parents were with me and it was a very good sanctuary. But going to school and I was bullied a bit by the children saying, why don't you go back, you refugee, to your own country? I realised I didn't have one. This is what I used to travel on. This is a stateless passport. I live to tell my story. Six million murdered Jews did not, including my family. My mother, my father, my brother were murdered. Israel provides a sanctuary for all Jews now and please God for future generations. As much as we might wish to integrate, there are going to be times when at least our comfort zone is threatened and maybe worse. Whatever troubles there may be, rises and falls and anti-Semitism, it's the one safe haven for Jewish people. I take pride in what Israel's achieved. You know, it's come in 65 years from nothing, and now it's a leader of uh, literature, it's a leader of high tech, it's a leader in the sciences. And I, maybe I don't deserve to, but I take great pride in that, and I think I have self-confidence and self-respect as a British Jew because of Israel. Part of UJIA's logo, its emblem, is the heart. That is because Israel is at the heart of everything we do, just as it's been in the heart of Jews throughout history all over the world. The UJIA's work in Israel is focused in the north, the Galil. Here the social gap between Israel's better off and worse off is clear. UJIA creates better education and employment opportunities for the Jewish and Arab communities. Here are a few examples of what we do. One of our very special projects that UJIA is involved in is the project of Best for Industry. This program helps our students, while they're studying, to become integrated in different jobs in the community, if it's high tech or even social services, hoping that eventually they will be able to get involved and stay on in these jobs and stay on in the Galilee. It's a holiday village for children who suffer from life-threatening illnesses and they come here, Arab and Jewish children, who met at the, in the hospitals and became very good friends. They are out of the hospital, they are out of thinking of illnesses and, 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 and so on. And you, you hear the sounds here. This is what you hear for five, six, seven days from the minute they get off the buses. I'll take the opportunity to thank UJIA, they actually contributed a very, very important contribution. And because of their contribution, which is the medical center, we have the status of a hospital. Thank you very much, ladies. It was the ladies of the UJIA, so thank you very much, ladies. And we'll continue to hear from you and come and visit us. פה בגליל. המת... אחד המטרות הנוספות אה, זה לשפר את הרפואה בכלל בכל האזור ולמשוך חוקרים שהצליחו מחוץ לארץ ישראל אלינו לתוך ארץ ישראל ובמיוחד לפה לגליל כדי לפתח את כל האזור. Alongside our vital on the ground work in Israel, the other main focus of our activity is here in the UK, 
where we work with the next generation on their Jewish journey through an active involvement with Israel. UJIA provides core funding to 12 Zionist youth movements which run summer camps just like this one, Israel tours and gap year programs. We also fund Jewish societies on campuses and run the UJIA birthright program. I myself went through the whole system, training as a volunteer youth leader, and now, thanks to UJIA, I'm a committed leader in the Jewish community. has definitely been a worthwhile experience, a once in a lifetime opportunity that no one should give up. You're able to see Israel in a completely different light. <laughs> I often come across the argument, and it's a false one, that Israel, with all its achievements, doesn't need our support. The recent economic successes are real, but their fruits are unevenly shared. Poverty, social deprivation, and inequality exist in Israel as it does in all advanced economies. <laughs>